Jose Lamone electrified the world with his dynamic masculine dancing and dramatic choreography. One of the 20th century's most influential performers and dance makers, he spent his career pioneering a new art form, American modern dance. Born in Culiacan, Mexico in 1908, Lamon entered a world torn by a class revolution. His family fled the upheaval and immigrated to America, where, as a child, Jose was challenged to assimilate his Mexican heritage into that of his newly adopted country. In school, he excelled as an artist and musician. After high school, he went to New York to study art, but instead discovered modern dance. He was lucky to find the school of dance pioneers Doris Humphrey and Charles Weidman, where he was trained and nurtured as a dancer and choreographer. After serving in the armed forces during World War II, Lamone formed his own company in 1946, with Doris Humphrey as artistic director. During Lamone's lifetime, he was recognized as the greatest male dancer of his generation and honored as one of the premier voices of American culture. He was the first artist in any medium to be asked to represent the United States as a cultural ambassador. Many of his dances have been celebrated as incomparable masterworks. Like displaced people all over the world, Lamone suffered the violence and terror of war, personal loss, and feelings of exclusion and isolation in a new country. It was his gift to be able to transcend those experiences through his dances and create universal statements of hope for all mankind. The importance of Limon is in his work. He knew that he was part of a common humanity and was expressing that humanity. I think that the importance of Limon is that he represents dance at its most emotionally and theatrically accessible. If you put a good Limon work in front of any audience, it will gather the story and it will feel, it will feel the flow, it will get the impact. Jose has left a body of work for us that is among the most important dance works of the 20th century. In education programs, in, in, in just in the Ailey Company, bringing his works into our repertory has a great deal to do with the kind of respect that he garnered as a great artist and part of the fabric of dance in this country. The continuation of the legacy, there's always a problem with that, you know. Should the work last beyond the person who created it? What happens to it? Is it being done the same way? Of course it's not being done the same way. We don't dance the same way. We don't look the same. Our bodies aren't the same. Is the spirit of it there? Absolutely. It's the dedication shown by Carla Maxwell and her staff in the, in the uh, constant renewing of this work is just miraculous. There is something about the, the technique, the hand of these um, prime movers that we must, um, we must not lose. People who understood how they placed the torso over the hips, how they encouraged the breathing, how they themselves inhabited a gesture. The best of Limon will stand up to the test of time. I think it's very important that it be retained in repertory. I think it's very important that dancers feel the Limon Humphrey spirit in their bodies. Morris Pavard is one of the greatest uh, modern dancers I think ever made uh, because of its musicality and how succinct uh, the characterizations are. It's taken me some years to look back and see what I do owe to him. It was very important that he was a man of color who was grappling with uh, the European hierarchy of beauty and importance.
We need to celebrate our artists in America. They are the noble achievers of what, what we are and what we do. They reflect our culture, they challenge our culture, and Jose was just such a person. Um, he needs to be known. The great ambassador he was as he went into the uh, Eastern European countries long before the curtain fell to show that we were, in fact, human, wonderful people living in America. Not just strong and mighty, but, but frail, wonderful, touching. And um, we need that now more than ever. You can name about three or four names in the middle of the last century that were the pivotal figures in defining what dance was. And certainly at the top of that list is Balanchine and Tudor, and in modern dance, Graham and Limo. One of the things that I, what worries me about dance is we do not have sufficient regard for our past. I think that the Humphrey, Weidman, Limon, Axis, whatever we want to call it, that branch of the tree, uh, was deeply compassionate. This is a man that believes that um, progress can be made, and I believe that the progress that he counted on was something about the human heart evolving, evolving toward a state of of uh, higher consciousness and acceptance of what makes us human, of um, the transformative, the magical in his gesture, something that has seen a great deal and yet still believes 